budgets. The farmers know they ruined it for them, and that's why we're in government and they're not. Well, perhaps the right honourable lady thinks that everyone came to London yesterday to thank the government. <laughs> Let's look at the facts. A typical mid-sized 360 acre family farm in the constituency of my right honourable friend for Thurston Morton. They've uh, spoken to their accountant. Their new liability because of this government is half a million pounds. That's 12 years worth of profit. When this generation passes away, that farm will become totally unviable and it's just one of thousands and thousands of similar farms. It's clear the government hasn't got its facts right. The Central Association for Agricultural Valuers, the real experts in this field, say so. The NFU says so. They're shortly to publish a report showing that 75% of all commercial farms will fall above the threshold. If the government isn't, if the government isn't going to reverse this terrible policy, will the right honourable lady at least commit that there will be no further increases to inheritance tax and no further reductions to agricultural property relief or business property relief in this Parliament? Well, Mr Speaker, he talks about the facts, and I absolutely stand by the figures the government has set out. And the vast, the vast majority of estate owners will be totally unaffected. He wants to talk about the figures, Mr Speaker. I will be crystal clear. The vast majority of estate owners will see no change and pay no tax on land passed on valued at £1 million. Couples can pass on three million pound mr speaker tax free and those above the thresholds will pay only half the normal rate and can pay over 10 years interest free 